Good morning. Um, just we're having some technical difficulties with the GoToWebinar software. Can I just uh, verify that the members of the uh, the audience can hear or and or see the screen? There's a questions tool in the um, GoToWebinar software, and if somebody could just type in a question to verify, that would be excellent. Great. Okay. It looks like we have uh, successfully connected. <laughs> Excellent. The, uh, the software is telling us that we're not connected. All right. Uh, well, good morning and sorry for the delay. Um, my name is Ken Shaw. I'm the CEO of SOS and uh, we'll, we'll dive right in because we're, we're running a little bit behind schedule. Um, so welcome to our, our weekly series of webinars that we do here at SOS. Uh, we, the, Every week we do a different topic focused particularly on um, the overarching theme is becoming a partner of SOS and, and getting into the online backup business. Um, from an, an, an overall structural standpoint, we'll do a brief overview of SOS as a company, although we assume most people on the webinar today are familiar with SOS. We'll then turn and look at the traditional backup and DR industries as it has existed, the moves to online backup underway across the industry, and then uh, particularly we'll look at the SOS technology stack and then how you can leverage that technology stack and take advantage of the market shifts underway to get a business and launch your own branded online backup service. So the intended audience for today is either existing SOS partners or prospective partners, people thinking about becoming an SOS partner. Um, we'll have a, Q, a dedicated Q&A section at the end of the webinar, but uh, what we found is the best way for everybody to get the most out of this is to actually use the questions tool and go to webinar and ask questions straight away. It's one of the great things about this platform is that uh, you can interrupt me at any time with a question um, and I'll do my best to answer those as we go and if I miss any, I'll, I'll answer them in the, in the Q&A at the end. Um, then there'll also be the Kindle giveaway that we do every week and we'll be announcing the details of the Kindle giveaway at the end of the webinar. Um, so just starting off, can I get a sense from the audience of of who the audience is today. If you can, if, I mean, lots of you have already used the question section to, to do that sound check, um, but if you can just type in existing partner or prospective partner, that would be excellent. And I, that'll help me shape my comments to, to who we've got here in the audience today. All right, so um, while everybody's doing that, I'll just give you a brief overview of who SOS is. Uh, we've been in business now for nearly a decade, um, founded in 2001 originally in Australia. We're now a global firm with primarily our operations are in North America, but we've also got operations still in Australia, in Asia, um, and in Europe. We've always focused nearly exclusively on the online backup market. We have some other ancillary backup technologies that sit around our core online backup stack, but we were founded uh, to focus on what was then a very much an, a nascent market uh, and has seen enormous growth in the online backup industry generally since since we were founded. Our goal as a firm has always been to be the technology leader in the space. So we put a lot of our um, investment into product research and development and to make certain that our platform is always at the, at the front of the pack in terms of technology. And we, we've generally done very well at doing that. We've been, for example, PC Magazine Editor's Choice for the last five years running. Um, we win a lot of awards in the consumer and SMB space for our technology. But uh, what makes us unique, really, is our focus on, on the channel and on partners. So more than 80% of SOS's revenue comes from the partner channel, which is people like yourselves who, who partner with us to sell uh, either our branded product to your customers or sell your branded product to your customers. So we've got um, lots of replies here from the audience. Thank you very much for that. Um, and it looks like the, the majority of people today are, are prospective partners thinking about um, becoming SOS partners. So really the, the question that I, I want to pose to you all at the end of today's webinar is what's stopping you from becoming an SOS partner? My goal today is to answer the questions you've got that are stopping you from, from making the leap, so to speak. So if there are particular things that, are, that you've got on your mind or that you want addressed to help you make that decision, then please ask them right away, ask them now, and I'll make certain we, we address them throughout the presentation and then also we can have specific conversations around those issues. In the, in the dedicated Q&A section. Um, just some other details about SOS. We've got more than 200 employees around the world, uh, 10 data centers, actually 11 data centers now around the world, uh, five in, the, in North America, and then the other six are spread around the world. 
Um, more than 3 million customers have been backed up by our system, nearly 10 million PCs on our system. And then this last point here on this slide, that we've grown on 300% since 2009, which really isn't a comment about us so much as it's a comment about the success our partners are having. So we, we really only succeed when our partners succeed. And the fact that we're growing so rapidly, I think, is testament to the fact that our partners are doing very, very well selling online backup to their customers. All right. So in terms of where SOS is positioned in the market, um, some of these brands on screen I think would be familiar to, to many of you. Uh, the, the major players in the market are Carbonite, Mosey, iDrive and, and SOS. We've certainly been the dominant forces in the space. We've all got different focuses. So Carbonite and Mosey focus very heavily on the, the low-end consumer market and very heavily on their own brand. So neither of them have particularly strong channel programs. In the small business space, you've got iDrive um, and Mosey as well. Um, and then we focus, we sort of split our focus between those two, but our focus is different in that we're not, we don't primarily focus on pushing the SOS brand, we primarily focus on partnering. So we're the only, of the major online backup firms, we're the only one who, who is nearly dedicated to the channel. Um, uh, we've just got some comments coming in here, uh, I've got concerns about where data is being located, we're in Canada. Um, we've, we've actually got a Canadian data center, so we can make certain that your data only goes to Canada. And that's an example of our partner focus, is that we, with, we've got a thousand partners worldwide, and I think any objection or any concern that you've got, please speak up about it, because we've probably already solved it. So we've got a couple of other people who've now said, uh, my concern is that I'm in Canada. So for anybody on the line who's from Canada, not a problem. We've got Canadian infrastructure, and we can make certain that your data never leaves Canada. Um, and that's a good example of how everything in SOS is, is geared up towards serving the channel. Um, and this, this picture from our marketing team really sums up what we try and do. We take all of our infrastructure and technology and software and sales know-how, as depicted by our logo there on the left, and we then run it through your business model. So we then take your brand and your product, your product configurations, and we then match our various service lines to what you're doing from a a marketing and pricing and product standpoint to enable you to then drive a new revenue stream from online backup services. And that revenue stream is incremental revenue, which is very, very high margin for your business, and it's a recurring revenue base for you that you can sell by selling backup as a managed service. Um, just take a mo I'm just taking a moment now to, to look through some of these questions. Um, is, it, is the product HIPAA compliant? Absolutely is. We'll be talking about that. Uh, bandwidth required for daily backups, we'll be talking about that as well. Um, will the webinar be available? Yes, it will. You'll get an email linking to the video of the webinar and there'll be a transcript. Or you can always visit our webinar archives page to get access to that. Uh, question here about whether we handle SQL Server and Exchange. Absolutely do. Um, uh, pricing, we're going to be talking about pricing. Uh, are you business only or can residential users use this too? Um, from a partner standpoint, we've got a lot of a lot of partners who serve the residential market, and we've got a lot of partners who serve the business market, but most of our partners do both. So we've absolutely got a home user product and a business product, and our partners will generally sell to both. Okay. And then here on the screen is an example of some of the white labeling we do. So down the bottom left, you've got uh, an image of one of the one of SOS's technologies, it's our vulnerability scanner, which can be fully white labeled, and then you've got some other pieces here. So for example, there's a, a product sheet in the middle, and that's been reskinned for one of our partners, and then a couple of versions of, of our software that have been completely white labeled for partners. So it gives you a sense of, of how extensive our labeling, our white labeling system is, and how we can brand the product and that marketing collateral on the sales efforts to you and your business. We're going to see a lot more about that later in the in the presentation. All right. So looking at the markets that. Um, customer service. This is actually a good time for another question from me back to the audience. Um, if you could type in who your market primarily is, so if it's home users, you know, business users, enterprise users, which of those are you serving, or if you're serving multiple of them, let you know, say multiple, um, because across our partner base, we've got a lot of people who will who will split across these different market segments. Okay, we've got a lot of people coming in saying that they're serving the small business market and the corporate market. Do we have anybody serving the home market or the, the, the consumer market? Okay, it seems the bulk of the people making comments are uh, small business. Okay. 
And so it, it's interesting when you look at these three market segments because you've got very different technology in place in all three, and you've got very different sales approaches that need to be adopted in all three. In the consumer market, it's generally a backup void that, you, that we're selling into. There is not a one accepted standard for consumer backup. Uh, a lot of market research indicates that fewer than 10% of consumers actually back up regularly. Um, so generally in the consumer space, it's about getting consumers to overcome that inaction that they've already been engaged in and actually adopting a backup solution. In the small business space, it's usually a technology replacement sale. So in the SMB space, tape backup is still by far the most predominant technology in use. Um, DISC has emerged in the last five years as a significant competitor to tape, and we refer to both DISC and tape as hardware-based backup, or centrally architected hardware-based backup. And we make that, um, we categorize them similarly because they're both plagued by the same problems. Tape's got more problems than DISC, but there's still a lot of problems with DISC, and we're going to look at some of those problems and how our online backup overcomes them. Um, in the in both the SMB space and the enterprise space, you've got a three-part approach to backup. There's usually a very expensive piece of hardware, usually then some software that's specifically designed to run with that hardware, and then a very heavy labor, labor component. What do I mean by that labor component? I'm talking about the human effort and energy and services that go into deploying a backup, setting it up, configuring it, running it, rotating media off-site, verifying that the media hasn't deteriorated, or verifying that recovery can occur off the media in the instance where a recovery is needed, the labor that goes into getting the tapes from the archive, bringing them on site, doing a full recovery, then applying the incremental recoveries. It's um, a very, very difficult technology landscape um, and extremely labor intensive. So with online backup, what we find is quite the opposite. You've got a cloud-based solution that is fully software as a service. You deploy it, you set it up. That's all you've got to worry about, so that the labor component with online backups is dramatically lower. And so is the software and the hardware component. We're going to look at that. Now, all of those constituent components are still there. They've just been wrapped up into one service that you can offer to your customers under your brand or under the SOS brand, if that's what you prefer. Um, we're seeing a, a pretty steep decline in tape and hardware based backup in general. So uh, if we look at the statistics for tape sales in North America, we've seen an absolute collapse of that market, reduced from 2.3 billion two years ago to just under 1.4 billion this year. So yeah, if that trend is to continue, then we're going to see tape backup recede into being a legacy technology pretty quickly. And then what's replacing it? Well, uh, the numbers seem to indicate the cloud-based backup is what's replacing it. So according to a recent survey by CTO Edge magazine, more than 70% of the CTOs and CIOs who were surveyed said that they intend to shift some or all of their backup load to cloud-based backup. And so that actually uh, is a good segue to a quote that we, that one of our partners, um, a comment that one of our partners made that we often quote. And that was, if we don't sell our customers cloud-based backup, somebody else will, so why not us? So that's really the challenge that I pose to everybody on the line today. Um, my assertion is that if you're not selling online backup to your customers, somebody else definitely is going to be. So this is not a choice of whether or not your customers will use online backup. That's an almost certain, almost a certainty. The real question is whether or not you'll be the person who's selling it to them. So again, coming back to what I want to understand is what can I do to help uh, you make the decision to get into the market, take advantage of that opportunity, and make certain that your competitors don't take your customers by selling them online backup before you do. Um, and before I turn to this uh, this total cost of ownership comparison, I just want to spin through some of the questions we've got here. Uh, the, the vast bulk of people who comment